guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and here on We Mama I do lots of motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning and organisational videos. So if you like that kind of content I would love it if you could stick around and maybe consider subscribing. As you can tell by the title today's video is my must haves currently <laughs> for having two children under the age of two. My little boy Didier is nearly two years old, he will be two in January and my newborn baby girl she is two months old. This was a bit of a shock to the system when she first came home. Um, first of all, she just slotted straight in. She was fine, she slept all the time. And then about three, three weeks in, I had a few meltdowns. <laughs> um, it got quite hard all of a sudden. I recently re relocated down to the Cotswolds last year. I don't have any family members down here and I've only just started to like get to know people. And my husband is a chef who works very long hours. So I am usually juggling my two babies all by myself all day. I also don't drive, so adding that into the mix it's quite hard. <laughs> I can't really escape the house. I always need to find things that are quite practical to use, to go for walks, things like that. I have to have, be a bit hands-on with things that I own. So my first must-have is a routine. I learnt this the hard way. Three weeks in, with a newborn and an almost two-year-old, I found this so hard. I was getting really frustrated and to the point where I just wanted to cry at bedtime. During the day, my little girl just did not want to be put down. I really had to make sure that I was thinking ahead. I had my little boy into a routine and also my little girl. Bedtime was the worst. Uh, whenever I went to put my little boy down to bed, my little girl would instantly start screaming. And this was so much hard work. I kind of thought, oh, she's newborn, she'll sleep while I'm trying to do that. If you can hear squeaking, by the way, my little girl is in her, her baby seat by there so if you can hear squeaking that's what that is and one night it got so bad because my little whenever I went out to see my little girl in his like cot my little boy would start crying because I'd left him and I was like a ping pong ball between my two rooms it was so hard that was a couple of weeks ago now and now I'm in a flow I'm in a routine and I know what to do throughout the day it's not too bad I don't really stick to too much of a routine as long as my little boy has a nap in the morning around like 10 o'clock 11 o'clock it's not too bad but my little girl's routine now at five o'clock I need to make sure that I'm making my like dinner and we're having food at around half five then six o'clock is bath time and like playtime story time and they are kind of in bed then for seven o'clock to really get into that routine i had to bath them both together which was really scary at first but my little boy is so good he's really gentle and after having a nice calming bath and a baby massage my little girl she just fell asleep straight away afterwards and i was easily able to get my little boy to sleep so i would highly recommend getting your little ones and yourself into a routine because i was just running around like a headless chicken and even though my little boy you know he's nearly two that newborn routine kind of went out of the window for me i was just with my little girl giving her cuddles and breastfeeding her and everything else kind of went out the window i kind of forgot how to have a newborn baby <laughs> it's scary how that happens my next tip, like must have, is have a slow cooker and a meal plan. I've only just started to do this. I'm so unorganized. I've always tried to make meal plans in the past, but I've just never really seen them through. If I wanted something, I was like, oh, I really fancy that. So I'd go to the shop and then buy the ingredients. And then whilst I was there, I was spending so much more money because I'm like, oh, yeah, let's get that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Or when I'd go and do a weekly shop, I would just buy random things. So I'd buy loads of veg, loads of this, loads of that. And then they would be sat rotting in like the veg basket whilst I was going out and buying things. It was just a mess. So now I'm making sure that every week I am writing down a meal plan. And it sounds really silly, but I am really am sticking to it. And the other thing is to have a slow cooker. This, especially in the first few weeks when my little girl was born, this has been such a a lifesaver. I bought this with my little boy and I didn't really use it that often. Um, I had my mum around when my little boy was born because we lived closer to her so I didn't really use it as much but this time it's so easy to just prep everything the night before, chuck it in in the morning and then by tea time you've got food and you've not had to think about it. This has been so handy for me and I've really been like Pinteresting slow cooker recipes and then the ones that have been a bit of a fail you know obviously write those off and the other ones that I really liked have just been keeping those in 
um, a notebook in my notes app for like my slow cooker recipes. I find I really struggle with slow cooker recipes because I'm vegetarian. I do eat fish, so I'm a pescatarian, but most slow cooker recipes are meat, so I do struggle a bit, but I've made some really lovely salmon recipes and like veggie lasagnas and chilies. This has been so, so helpful. Because when you've got two, uh, I, the, you know, the day just escapes you when you've got a baby and a toddler. So at the end of the day, when I realized that I didn't have to think about having, you know, getting up to cook food, this was such a lifesaver that it was already done. As I mentioned earlier, I had to start bathing my little boy and my little girl together. Uh, I have got a separate bathtub um, that I use for my little girl. I have seen different bath seats you can put in the bathtub for a, little, for a baby, but I really love and recommend these bath sponges. Mine is soaking wet. <laughs> I thought I thought I dried it out, but clearly I haven't. So it's a bit wet, but it's basically this flat baby sponge, and you can just place it in the bathtub, and I like to plop her down and hold her. This isn't the best way. I have seen ones that sit up, so maybe that is a bit better. Maybe I do need to get that. But um, this has been really handy. They are like two ninety nine from Home Bargains, and they have been a lifesaver. Really, really helpful. When my little boy is in the bath, I sit and I I like play with the water with her, give her little washes, and she's comfy because it's not hard plastic, it's a nice soft bath sponge. So this is definitely a must have with two under two. This might be an obvious one, but my next must have is a double pram. I kind of panicked halfway through my pregnancy and I was like, we need to get another pram. I hadn't even, it hadn't even crossed my mind. Uh, first, my little boy was really starting to do lots of walking and I just thought, do I need to buy another pram? And I was considering not getting a, a double pram and now I'm so happy that we bought this one. I bought this pram second hand. I don't believe in spending £700 on a pram when you can get another one that is like new for much cheaper. I bought the Oyster Max 2 from Facebook Marketplace. It is in really good condition. The only thing that is wrong with it is that the basket at the bottom, the netting is a little bit ripped from where they've folded it, uh, but it still works, you can still put everything in it. And I got this pram for £120. It is basically brand new. They said they only used it when they went on like forest walks with their kids. It is fantastic. So it basically came with everything. It came with rain covers, it came with two seats and a bassinet, and also with adapters to put a car seat onto it. And it kind of went with any car seat. We haven't used the car seat adapter with the pram because we've got a doona, so we just used the bassinet. And at first of all, I, was, I hated it, I'm not gonna lie, because it was just so bulky and not what I was used to. But now I absolutely love this pram. We've like got rid of my stocky pram. I love that pram. And now we just use this pram. It is fantastic. And if we just go for short walks around the neighborhood, my little boy will just walk and I will just use the bassinet on the pram. But if we go for like days out shopping and things like that, we do tend to use the bassinet at the bottom and the seat on front. And then when she is old enough to sit up in the pram, we will put the two seats together, uh, like one underneath, one on top. And it has done us so well so far. It's really, really good pram. Another must have is a baby carrier. I use this one from Amazon. It was 20 pounds, I think, and it has been fantastic. You know, in the first few weeks, my little girl did not want to be put down. If I put her in a Moses basket, her like baby chair, play gym, she did not want to be away from me. So it was so oh, much hard work. So if I, when my little boy was like napping and I needed to wash up, the only way I could do that was if I was baby wearing her. She's not so bad anymore at two months, she will go in a chair, but she, she, you know, sometimes I do have to still put her in the carrier. This has also been really handy. The other day I took a solo trip to London. I put my little boy in our folding pram, like travel pram, and I carried her around with me. I didn't have a baby carrier with my first little boy, one that I particularly enjoyed using, but this one has been fantastic and it has definitely made the difference with having a newborn and a toddler. My next must have is 
and changing bag that is a backpack I have had quite a few changing bags I will link those videos down below I have done lots of what's in my nappy bag diaper bag videos so I'll link those below but I definitely recommend having a backpack instead of you know like the shoulder bags that hang on a pram when you've got two under two you need to be hands on you need your hands free at all times so definitely recommend getting a backpack another must have for me is these little reins these this brand is by little life uh, i got this again second hand from uh, i think it was ebay actually they it is good brand new the owner said that they didn't use it that much um and they are like 20 pound i think in boots and i got this for six pound on ebay can't go wrong and it is a rain backpack so you put this on your child and clip it and it comes with a little compartment here and you clip on the reins it's also got a really weird hood but we don't use that we tend to when we go out for walks and things like that i've got lots of my little boys like toys and things in here uh, packs of tissues i keep his dummies his snacks and his water bottle so these are really handy and i know this i know that reins are a little bit controversial obviously when he's wearing this you know we don't like yank him back. This is basically just a precaution. If I am walking with him and we're near a road, so like to get to my local park, we have to cross some roads and things like that. If he walks with us and he doesn't go in the pram, these are really handy to just, you know, have a peace of mind holding on to hit this. I just put this around my wrist and hold his hand. And it's just that peace of mind that he's not gonna go too far. I went on a solo trip to London and I took this with me so that when I went on the tubes, my little boy, I folded up the pram and I held his hand this way. And it's just for that peace of mind, too far away from you, he will always be this distance from you. And I highly recommend these. My next must have is monitors with a camera. We bought really cheap ones. I think mine was about 20 pounds off of Amazon. It's not amazing uh, in terms of when you stand it up, it's got a cord and it can be a bit annoying. My little boy, we've taken the side off of his crib and he's got a baby gate across his door so that when I'm seeing to Nina, I can't, he's just got his own playpen kind of situation and it is a must have that I know what he's doing at all times that you know I can see him. This is really handy to also put it in the living room. If I'm seeing to Nina and with her like washing up and my little boy is in the other room, it's just a peace of mind that you know you you can see him your other child at all times it's just really handy to have they may be a little bit more expensive but i think for that extra bit of security that you can see your little ones and you can find them for quite cheap i think mine were about 20 pounds off of amazon another must have surely most parents have these anyway they are you know something that you have to have with small children but baby gates don't just put them on your stairs if you need somewhere you know for your child to just be, then I highly recommend getting baby gates put it on your living room on their bedroom if you need like five minutes to shower and your room is like baby proofed chuck them in the room <laughs> while you go shower this is what I have to do I put my like, newborn daughter in her snooze pod and then if I need a shower I just put him in his bedroom now shut the baby gate he is nearly two years old we've baby proofed the room and he's just got free reign of his bedroom he can't get out of it it's just really handy to have and on that note i would also highly recommend like travel carts like pack and play we got one of these for camping with my little boy but this was so handy to have uh, when he was um when he was crawling so if i needed a shower i could just put him in that so if your little ones are still a bit younger and they're not quite walking that you can't leave them in a whole room pack and plays are such a good idea to just chuck them in while you go get ready At, like you know for the pack and play i don't need that at the moment because my little girl's not like running around but when my little boy you know he's going to be two and a half my daughter will be coming up to six months maybe crawling and sitting up so i will definitely be needing one of those but yeah i would definitely recommend baby gates and you know just a safe place for them to play while you do things that you need to do just to have five minutes to do something it's so important for your sanity and last on my list is entertainment for your oldest child my little boy's birthday is on the 3rd of january bless him it is like a week after christmas he has had like kind of like the same toys for a while for christmas i'm starting to buy him toy sets things that he can actually sit down and play with he's got cars he's got a toolbox he's got a kitchen He's got toys that he can play with, but it's not something that he will sit down and 
focus on. So I've made it my mission this Christmas to buy toys like a train set so he can sit and focus on that activity. Notebooks and pens, like colouring books, even though he doesn't colour in the colouring books, he is obsessed with things like that. Also Play-Doh, uh, things like this where he can actually sit and do like a focused activity. This is the kind of entertainment that I really need my child to have right now. Obviously I don't have that on me right now, but the other day we went over to a friend's and her little boy had a huge train track and he sat and he played for a full 30 minutes and I just thought if I have that at home that could be life changing. So I've definitely made it my mission this Christmas and for his birthday to buy sets. I have bought him a Play-Doh set, a train set and uh, I saw these things on Amazon called Play Mags and they're basically like magnetic square colourful tiles and you just stick them together and I'm also looking at kinetic sand so these you know the, the, the sand and the Play-Doh you might have to oversee but these are, you know, very focused activities. So if you can leave them for five minutes to go and finish a job or change your other baby's bottom or feed your other baby, these entertainment things like that are definitely a must have. Oh, someone's getting grizzly. I have one more thing on my list and that is wine. You know, you can't be a mother to two children under two without treating yourself to a bottle of wine. <laughs> Sadly, I am breastfeeding, so I think I have maybe like a tiny little glass full when we have a nice food when my husband's home. But <laughs> I really wish that, you know, as soon as she is not breastfeeding, I cannot wait to just devour a nice ice cold glass of wine. I can't wait for that day. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped in any way. Please let me know down in the comments if you are a mummy to two children under two. Please let me know any of your like hacks, must-haves. These were just mine, things that I feel like have really made my life easier in these past few weeks of newborn hood and toddlerhood. So if you do have any tips and tricks, please let me know down below. I would love it if you could stick around and consider subscribing. That would really help grow and support my channel. I try and put videos out every Tuesday and Thursdays and also every other Sunday. I would love to have you here as a viewer to help support and grow my little channel. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Say bye!